As long as we are divided in the name of religion, race, caste, gender, and nationality, there can be no true success for humanity. When following the news, and if you are on social media, staring at social media and seeing political discourse or talks about identity, race, religion, class, sexuality, gender, all these kind of things, I don't know about you, but it's very difficult not to get pulled into suffering or pulled into comparison, pulled into dividing yourself from other people. Those people over there are bad. I am good. Those people over there are good. Those people over there are bad. This is the nature of the current political and social discourse around many topics. Ha! That must cause suffering for many people much of the time. Pulling from some ancient wisdom that's being expressed in modern times through a yogi called Sadhguru is this idea that whenever we separate ourselves or create divisions between ourselves and other people, we just create suffering. And I want to read his quote here. As long as we are divided in the name of religion, race, caste, gender, and nationality, there can be no true success for humanity. It's a beautiful saying, and it's one that we want to learn to practice in order to develop, to create, to promote our well being. Because the same way that we separate ourselves from other people, the same way that we create difference, use that to divide and then generate a sense of moral superiority over who or what it is we are dividing ourselves from that just inevitably causes us to suffer. Even though we get a little dose or a little nugget of an ego boost or a sense of being better than, ultimately that just creates more suffering and creates more divide between ourselves and others. Let's integrate this into our own well-being, our own health and sanity, okay? When your ego starts to identify with such things as religion, race, caste, gender, nationality, your job, your role in your family, when you get identified and attached to those things, it creates suffering. So when you do notice yourself saying, I'm your parent, or I'm your friend, or I'm your teacher, or your boss, therefore you should listen to me, that is unhelpful. Can you tune into when you are doing that and notice what happens when you are identified and attached to these things? It's not helpful, okay? So just as a practice and to draw from the great wisdom of people like Sadhguru, number one, simply just noticing, are you creating a sense of ego gratification through identifying with a part of you, the things that have been mentioned already? And are you using that to give yourself a boost, an ego boost, a sense of gratification, superiority over an other in any of those categories. And can you ask yourself, what is happening in this moment? Oh, look, I am creating separation. I am attached to an identity and that's not helpful. <sighs> Maybe take a deep breath. And also when you notice you are consuming news or you are consuming social media feeds, whatever it is, and you get sucked into this identity madness or the suffering that comes with attachment and identity, just simply noting to yourself that you are doing it is wonderful. That's part of the process of freeing ourselves from these patterns that are causing us to suffer, certainly not contributing to a world that's a better place to a future in which humanity can coexist peacefully and to promote thriving and abundance and all these fluffy, beautiful ideas, okay, in which we're very far from, okay? So again, noticing when we're attached to an identity, noticing the suffering that that causes and trying to catch yourself in this ego gratification game where you're creating a separation between you and another person. So just to start noticing that pattern in yourself. And when you can start noticing that pattern and catching yourself, we want to start talking to ourselves or saying it out loud. Oh, look, I'm playing the identity game. I'm playing the me versus them, or I'm better and they're worse. Playing that game and it's not helpful. Can I remind myself that this doesn't help and that perhaps if I can let go of these thoughts and remind myself that I'm a human being just like this other person, 
I just perhaps think differently than they do, or perhaps I just look differently than they do. That doesn't make me better or worse or any of that. And then breathe. Okay, I want to keep this video short and to the point. May you be well. May you take care of yourself. I wish you the best. Peace out. I am very grateful that you watched to the end of this video. Please click one of the boxes to watch more of our content. And otherwise, have a great day. Peace out.